Hi everyone, on today's video, I'm going to be featuring a bag from this company called S-Zone. So thank you very much for S-Zone. They are the ones who provided this bag to me um, to review here on YouTube. I, it was actually perfect timing that they reached out to me because I was actually starting to look for a bag just for the office. Um, I've been taking a backpack, but it's kind of heavy. And also, since I'm going to be doing some substitute teaching, I'd rather take my backpack to that and then uh, without having to switch things every day other than my wallet and keys, um, I wanted to have a setup that I could just go the next day. Um, so this bag is just perfect for an office work bag. So first I'll show you the features of the bag itself. So here's a graphic from S-Zone themselves as far as the measurements. And another nice thing is these handles, they drop down, they are 12 inches, and on one side it is leather, but you'll notice on the other side it has this fabric. This fabric makes it really nice because it doesn't fall off your shoulder every two seconds. I really love this fabric on here. The drop for me, because I am a little under five feet tall, the drop for me is perfect. This ends up landing a little bit below my waist and my hand can cup underneath the bag just right. Also, the setting that they had for the shoulder strap, I didn't have to adjust at all. So, so the shoulder strap is made of the same material. It has the leather on top and then the fabric on the bottom has nice solid metal hardware. What I love about these clasps is they completely swivel. They are 360, so it doesn't matter how you clip this on here, you are able to get your strap to go in the direction you need it to. So these clasps are very nice hardware as well, and they swivel all the way around, so it makes it very easy to adjust the strap how you need when you're wanting to put it on. All right, so we're gonna start with the front. It has this zipper that just glides very easily, opened and shut. So this is an A5 planner to kind of give you an idea. So this Hobonichi, there's no way it's going to fit in that pocket, um, which I wouldn't try to do either. But if you have a slim A5 planner, you may be able to fit it into this pocket right here. So in this front pouch, I only plan to put some very flat things. I'll show you those in a minute. But right here, if you have a very thin planner, like the Avec or the Dayfree or the little notebook A5 size from Hobonichi, they'll fit in this like secret compartment you have right here. And they fit perfectly. Um, if you don't have much bulk in your notebook, you can fit a day free and, or an EVEC, and you can fit the little grid notebook by Hobinichi. So I absolutely love that um, because I'm probably getting a day free for 2024 as well. And it's one of my favorite planners that they have. And it's really nice that I know I can put it in here. Now it won't fit in there with one of the big bulky covers on it, but if all you carry is the planner or say a Midori diary, the Midori with a clear cover, that will fit in here as well. It has two side pouches. I've seen some people manage to somehow mangle a water bottle into these, but I think that's gonna to be too tight for me personally. So these outside pockets for me are going to be more things that I need to grab quickly like mints and tissues and my car keys, um, my AirPods, um, but not water bottles. I have a Stanley cup that I carry and I also have some, um, what do you call it? I already have some thermoses at the office too. My coffee cup is on my desk. All right, so this is the back of the bag and it has another pouch in the back. This one as well, I would say could fit A5. So let's get the day free. Yeah, day free can fit back there very easily. Again, I don't recommend with a Hobonichi cover. I think that would be too thick and bulky with the zipper. 
but um, I don't really plan to keep anything in this particular pocket because it has this feature. So say I'm going to the airport, which we do have a trip planned this fall. This just straps onto your luggage, um, your luggage handle, and so you're able to take it on the airplane pretty easily as a carry-on. So I already put my laptop in here. I have a pretty large laptop. It's a, I guess, 15 point, what do they call it, 15.1? It's an HP um, and it fits in there. It's not one of those small 13 inch um, mini, you know, books or anything like that. It's a full laptop, so it fits in there perfectly. Um, mine also does have the keyboard with the 10 key. So it's not as big as the 17 inch, but my laptop does have the regular keyboard plus the 10 key attached and it fits in here fine. Then it has two pockets right here. I already tried it since I'm recording with it. I can't show it to you, but my uh, iPhone, what is it called? Pro Max. So it's the large iPhone. It fits in here perfectly. It fits in both of these pockets. There's also two large pen loops here. So I have just one pen here from Pen Gems. And here I put my chargers. So I have them in a Ziploc bag because I rarely have to pull these out at the office, but I do love to have them just in case. So one is for my iPad and the other one is for my phone. I don't need a charger for my computer because I have a docking station that I plug into there. Then there is a big zipper here, and you can see how wide that is as well. All right, so let's show you how I'm planning to pack this thing. All right, so let me show you how I plan to load this up. Now you may notice with the lighting that there is a little scuff mark here. This is going to scuff over time. It is natural leather. Um, I love that look on leather. I have a lot of items that have that look and feel to them, so it's going to be just perfect. So this front pocket is super flat. So in that, I like to put my Lysol wipes. Those are always still very handy to have. I also still carry a mask just in case. There have been occasions still in public places where, you know, doctor's offices or things like that, where they have asked um, me to still wear a mask. And then these are some of my newest favorite finds. These are amazing. Beeswax hand sanitizer. So they are super flat, but they are 70% alcohol and they have essential oils. So this one has lavender oil, apricot, and it also has beeswax, avocado, vitamin E. So when you spray this, I'm gonna try the other one. So when you spray this, it doesn't leave your hands dry, it does not burn, and it does not leave any sticky residue. You'll see, I'm going to be able to go right into touching this leather bag, and I won't be leaving fingerprints and everything all over it but my hands feel so fresh and clean. I love both of these. Um, they have a combo pack available. I think it's a set of six, but since I love both of them, they are both going in my bag here. Um, that way I can also share, um, but they are absolutely amazing. I love these. And that is, oh, one more thing, because I know it'll get lost if I throw it in the bottom. I'll pop in my hair tie right here, okay? If I take an A5 planner, such as my day free, I will pop it in there. Side pocket, I have these little, you can get Kleenex, these are from Daiso. Um, my pencil case on my desk at work is Sumiko Garashi, so I thought I would take one of these, just so that it's easy to get to and it matches I'm going to take my AirPods in that same pocket. So on the other side pocket, I usually have some sort of Trader Joe's mints. These are ginger mints right now because of the nausea that I've had post-surgery and with my stomach lately. 
So that's the one I have preferred. Okay, so for the other items that are going in the bigger area of my bag, they're all gonna kind of get jumbled in there. So I thought I'd show them to you outside of the bag first. So first is this little bitty 27 piece all purpose first aid kit. I love this from Coleman. Everything is so compact. I've had it, I think for about a year now. And the nice thing is you'll wanna watch your expiration date on these but this tin is totally refillable. I looked at some of the ointments in here and some of them don't even expire till 2026. So it comes with little antiseptic wipes, comes with sting wipes, which I've used some of those already. Um, it comes with like, kind of like Neosporin and then there's several band-aids on the bottom. There is a razor blade in here that has tape on it and a couple of uh, safety pins. So this is just handy to have to take care of those occasional paper cuts at the office. So the biggest item that's going in there is this canvas pouch from Hobonichi. Um, I got it from the Hobonichi website. This was from Amazon and I forget this designer's name. She's a knitter and little cartoon artist. She usually makes hedgehogs, but she also has little cats. Um, so in here, this is actually the planner that I'm starting to use for 2024 and I'm getting it set up. Um, I have a different one that I'm using this year and that one's going to stay in the backpack. It's gray and it goes with all of that. So, um, this is the one that will be my everyday carry. It's the 2024 Midori Hibino. I will have a video of this as soon as I finally post that video, I will link it in the cards above. But this one does not have any notes section. This is a day on two pages kind of planner with a 24 hour run on them. So I have my little Hobonichi grid. So this is a grid notebook. Um, this is one of my favorite artists and they released this like mid year this year and it was totally unexpected, so I didn't really have a specific plan for this one, but now I can pair it nicely with my Hibino for next year, and so those are going to be carried right in here together. And this pouch is really nice because with this flap, I can stack stuff if I want to on top of it without it, um, without it messing up the pages of my planner. So for example, if I wanna put this here and then I have a little pill case. This one carries just my everyday allergy pills, aspirin, Tylenol, ibuprofen, some of my prescription meds, a probiotic, and that I can just set on top and set it in the bag. So another thing that will be going in there of course is my wallet. And that will just kind of lay there on top or I can stick it on the bottom underneath this. Um, where I work, I don't have to worry about security and theft and all that kind of stuff. But um, if I do, if I am in a place that I worry about it a bit, I can just stick this on top of it and nobody's gonna be able to get way down there. Oh, I forgot to mention. So in the back of this thing, it also has another pouch back here and I just keep lens wipes. So it's a really convenient place for my glasses because um, I'm either wearing blue light glasses for the computer screen or I'm wearing my regular glasses. So that's handy to have. Now this is brand new. This is another video I'll be doing soon from Kokuyo. So excuse my tag, I can't take that off yet. But I was really excited because it was perfect timing for this bag as well. So I was able to just fill it with pens and pencils that I would use. This is a uni pen, Tom, Tombow uh, mechanical pencil, the Click Art liner pens, and this is the Pentel Calm, and it's in the 07. So it's black, uh, red, and blue pens in that. And then on this side, I put in the little clear scissors. I have other scissors at the office as well, but this worked really well with the clear pouch. 
I also have an eraser right here. And then in this section, instead of pens and pencils, I've just put my basic makeup. So I'm loving this collection right now. It came as a duo. I ordered it directly off of their website, um, Summer Fridays. So this one is like a very nude sheer, um, almost like Carmex, but tastes way better than Carmex. The applicator reminds me a lot of Carmex. And then this is the cream blush, but also if I want some color on my lips, I'll add it to my lips as well. So just for some added color during the day, um, I stuck those in here. Those all snap shut. But if you want to find this on Amazon as well, that's the name of it. I will have all these links linked below. So if you're curious about these items here, I'll make sure to put the links below. Some of these items in this pen case in particular, I got from Stationery Pal. Um, they are also available on Amazon. Um, some of these are from Hobonichi. Um, so I'll just go through and see where I can find the links for everything. If there's one I miss, go ahead and message me. If you use any of those links, they may pay me a small commission. It doesn't cost you a penny more to click and use any of those links. It's the exact same price. So it just helps me out being able to do more of these kinds of videos for you. All right, so this is how the inside looks. I have my laptop here. I have that little pencil case and makeup case here on the left. I have my Hobonichi with the thick planner. That really helps hold the structure of the bag. So I really do enjoy having that in here. I feel like it really adds some volume and shape to the bag. My pill box is way down there. Uh, charging cords, pen. I can fit one more pen here if I want. And then my phone fits perfectly right there. There is also one more pouch right here on the inside. So in there is where I probably drop my car keys because I don't want to lose those. And so I'll just drop those in there. And then the last thing I throw on top is my wallet. And the nice thing with this bag is it does have a zip closure. So with my wallet being there right on top, it's totally fine. I have a zip closure and now it is completely zipped. So with it completely full, it's not exactly that light. So I am very happy that this is a messenger bag. I can wear it as a crossbody. For me at my height, that's probably what I prefer for the weight distribution. Um, for you, it may still be fine uh, just putting the straps over your shoulder. Either way, it's a very comfortable bag to wear in either direction. I wanted to make sure to also show the packaging. It came carefully packaged in a cardboard box, covered in plastic, covered in a cloth bag, secured by cardboard, and then you get to the beautiful leather bag. For my viewers, they're also offering a 20% discount with this code. So feel free to click on the link below and go to their website and use this code at checkout for 20% off. All of these other items will be listed on my Amazon links below as well. So feel free to click on those. They are affiliate links. They may pay me a small commission. Doesn't cost you a penny more. All it does is help support this channel. So if you enjoy bags like this, please give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next one.